baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Welcome back to the Late Great Show. I'm your host, Aaron Monte. How is what we do? It's not even open. Fire him. Fire him now. This week's stories. A new Call of Duty has been released, and it is amazing. It's called Call of Duty World War II. Take a look at this clip. This day have set upon a mighty endeavor. Souls will be shaken with the violences of war in this hour of great sacrifice. We shall prevail. Now, while most people are glad to have a new World War II-centered Call of Duty, I just sit here and wonder, are we tired of World War II games yet? I mean, seriously, there's been like 73 of them. When are we going to change it up? What about the American Revolution War games? You know, you get to load muskets for about 20 minutes, stand in formation, and just shoot the guns and miss most of the time, but it's a challenge. You should appreciate it. Why don't we do that? I mean, what about the Civil War games, where you can get shot by a Confederate soldier who's just really into slavery? I mean, how about the Iraq war games, huh? What about those? Where are those at? You know, you get to fight terrorism all the time. All the objectives are terrorism, but the secret objective is getting all the oil. These are the games we need, America. These are the games that we need. Our next story. Three of UCLA men's basketball players, including Leangelo Ball of Big Baller fame, were arrested in China just days before their opening game. Leangelo Ball and the gang were arrested for shoplifting in a Louis Vuitton store. First of all, in the words of your father, Leangelo, if you got to steal from Louis Vuitton, you're not a big baller. Okay? Listen up. You overprice all the big baller brand merchandise out there. Shoes, $400. Are you kidding me? But you, you think you would have taken enough from all the people. You would think you would have taken enough from all the people, but instead, you got to go and steal from the good people of China. Is that what we're doing? Is that a big baller move, Leangelo? Now, Leangelo is facing three to ten years in jail, possibly, in China. And he's going to find out that it would be better to be locked up on the court than to be locked up in China. Give me some. For our last story, Virginia's most conservative lawmaker was replaced in office by Danica Rome, a openly transgender Democrat, which is a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing to happen in America and a really wonderful thing to happen in Virginia, one of the most conservative places on earth. I don't know, maybe in America. But listen, this is great. It's a win for the LGBT community and a great win for America in general. To tell us what's really going on and how liberal or conservative it is in Virginia is our correspondent, Blake Taylor. Blake, what's it looking like out there? Uh, you know what, Aaron? It's uh, looking pretty, pretty gay out here, man. It's, it's not bad, though. You know, it's a lot of people out here. You know, coming up to me, complimenting me about my tie, my hair. You know, it's got me really feeling good about myself, you know, compared to what you guys treat me like in the studio, you know. So I love it out here, actually. So, you know, I think you would love it even more, actually, Aaron. This is your kind of crowd. So anytime you get the chance, just come check out Virginia, man. It's, it's a lot going on here. You know what, man? Vir Virginia's for lovers, man. Virginia's for lovers. Wow. Things really are changing for the better. I'm proud of this, America. I'm really proud. In other news, you want to talk to me? Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. It's up here somewhere. My name is Aaron Monte. This is The Late Great Show. Have a good night. Oh, here's your moment of zen. Ooh, baby, I like